The following program has been rated M for madness. It's time to check in to Dr. Gang Green's Sanitarium, where all movies are mad. <laughs> Greetings, Fright fans, and welcome to the lab. I'm Dr. Gangrene, physician of Fright, caretaker of the sanitarium here where we house the world's maddest movies in order to treat our inmates with some good old-fashioned schlock therapy. Now, I'm glad you joined us here tonight because this is a special event. This year, 2019, marks my 20th anniversary as a TV horror host in the Nashville area. My first episode aired on July 1st, 1999 and ran on and off the air throughout. To commemorate the 20 year anniversary, the station decided to let me take over the scare waves again this year. All October, we'll be bringing you a different film each week to help get you in the Halloween spirit. This will be a lot of fun, so let's get the frightivity started right now. To help me select this week's movie is my assistant, Gunther. Gunther, where are you? So Gunther, you got tonight's movie? Where is that? All right, thank you there. What's that? Gunther says that this is actually one of his favorite modern horror movies. Let's see. Ha, huh, hey, that's actually a good choice. Tonight's movie from 2013 is Son of Ghost Man. Shot in 2013 by director Kurt Larson, Son of Ghost Man is a loving tribute to those ghouls and ghosts who tirelessly toiled the graveyard shift to bring frightening flicks to the masses, the TV horror hosts. It tells the story of a young man named Denny who follows in the footsteps of his childhood idol, a retired horror host called Ghost Man. Denny dubs himself Son of Ghost Man and sets out to make a show. Along the way, he starts to develop a relationship with a new woman in town named Claire all the while battling the town's other horror host, a product shilling vampire named Count Dracul. Now, I'm proud to announce that this is the broadcast premiere of Son of Ghost Man, so you ghouls are the first to see it on the scare waves. And, keeping with the theme of the film, during the breaks tonight we'll also take a look at a few of the famous horror hosts through the years and pay tribute to those ghouls. But, for now, it's time for the movie. From 2013, this is Son of Ghost Man. We'll be back with more of Son of Ghost Man after these messages. Hey guys, this is Chris down here at Town Square Records and Comics here in Galton on the Square. Just want to let you know a little bit about what we do. We deal in records, comics, gaming, Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, stuff for everybody. We're 2,200 square feet of fun for kids of all ages. There is something here for everybody. If you've got somebody in your family that's hard to buy for for Christmas, Father's Day, birthday, whatever, we've got something for that. We buy, sell, and trade. So if you've got a stack of records sitting around that you don't want or a stack of comic books you don't want, don't throw them away. We'll turn them into cash. We can't wait to see you. Welcome back to Dr. Gang Green Sanitarium. Tonight we're watching the 2013 film Son of Ghost Man. And during the break, we're paying homage to some of the world's greatest horror hosts. First up is the greatest horror host of all time, Zachary the Cool Ghoul. Played by actor John Zachary, he started hosting as Roland in Philadelphia before changing his name to simply Zachary and moving the show to New York City. Zach was wildly popular, garnering a massive following and legions of loyal fans. He also hosted a dance show, a kids cartoon show, was a radio host, acted in films, he even recorded albums and had a hit song, Dinner with Drac, that went to number six on the Billboard Top 100. He practically set the mold for horror hosts to come, pioneering many of the techniques and gimmicks employed by hosts to this very day. Zach unfortunately passed away in 2016, but I did have the pleasure of meeting him and getting to know him a bit and in fact, a picture of the two of us even ran in USA Today. Here's to you, Zach, wherever you are. And now, back to Son of Ghost Man.
We'll be back with more Horror Host Madness here on Dr. Gangrene's Sanitarium after these messages. It's back! The 16th annual Dr. Gang Green's Horror Hootenanny, Nashville's longest running rock and roll Halloween party, Saturday, October 12th at Little Harpeth Brewing, featuring the Creeping Cruds, Tiger Sex, the Night Talkers, and the Sith Fits. Come in costume to win great prizes. Come meet me, Dr. Gang Green, Friday, October 18th at the Dark Horse Theater for The Night Merriam Incident, a play about a horror host like me who has spooky things happen on set. I'll be appearing live from 9 to 9.30. Their show starts at 10. That's Friday, October 18th at the Dark Horse Theater. Welcome back to Dr. Gang Green's Sanitarium, where we're watching the 2013 film Son of Ghost Man and paying tribute to some of the world's greatest horror hosts. No list of hosts would be complete without mention of the next host, the wild man from Cleveland, Ohio, Goulardi. Goulardi was played by DJ booth announcer Ernie Anderson. His show, Shock Theater, ran on WJW-TV in Cleveland, Ohio from 1963 to 1966. Goulardi was a hipster madman, a groovy character who was wildly popular in the Cleveland area. He spoke in beatnik slang and was famous for his catchphrases like stay sick, turn blue. He incorporated a heavy usage of music on the show, ranging from jazz to polka and everything in between. Audiences loved his wild annex and skits, including blowing up models and items sent in by viewers with firecrackers, or boom booms as he called them. He is one of the most influential hosts of all time, despite only being on the air for three years, inspiring both the ghoul as well as Big Chuck and Houlihan, who inherited his time slot. Chuck would continue the show uninterrupted for another incredible 41 years. Ernie later moved to LA and became famous all over again as the voice of ABC TV from the 1970s through to the 1990s. So here's to you, Ernie, you purple kniff. <laughs> Now back to Son of Ghost Man! <laughs> There you are. We'll be back with more of Son of Ghost Man after these messages. Welcome back, Fright fans. Tonight we're watching Son of Ghost Man and continuing our tribute to horror hosts through the years. Next up is a host many of you out there are familiar with, hailing from the Windy City, it's the Son of Svengooly. Son of Svengooly is played by Rich Coase, who inherited the moniker from his predecessor, Svengooly, played by Jerry G. Bishop, from 1970 to 1974 in Chicago, Illinois. In 1979, Son of Svengooly began airing and ran through 1986. It was revived again in 1994 and has aired continuously since then, with Rich now going simply by Svengooly, having dropped the Son of moniker. Svengooly now airs across the country on MeTV, as well as locally in Chicago. His show has a huge following, and Rich has won the Best Horror Host category in the Rondo Awards an incredible eight times and counting. The reason I first mentioned him as Son of Svengooly is because he was the inspiration for tonight's movie, Son of Ghost Man. Kurt Larson, the screenwriter for tonight's film, grew up watching Son of Svengooly, and tonight's movie is a loving tribute to both Sven and all horror hosts through the years. Speaking of which, it's time to get back to tonight's movie. This is Son of Ghost Man.
Gunther says we'll be right back after these messages. Next week on Dr. Gangrene Sanitarium, it's time to circle the wagons, Fright fans, as we travel to the Wild West and the mad science weird western. Jesse James meets Frankenstein's daughter. Saturday night at 7 p.m. right here on Nashville CW58. Welcome back, Fright fans, to Dr. Gangrene Sanitarium, where here tonight we're paying tribute to the world's greatest TV horror host. <laughs> what is it, Gunther? Okay, okay, I'm getting to it. He's been excited all week for his favorite horror host that he grew up watching right here in the Nashville, Tennessee market, Sir Cecil Creep. Sir Cecil was played by the late, great Russ McCown, a film editor at WSM-TV where his show Creature Feature aired from 1970 to 1973. The show garnered a huge following, and Sir Cecil was swamped by kids at local appearances. Sir Cecil Creep later moved to cable TV in the mid-80s, where he resurfaced with a brand new show called The Phantom of the Opry, this time supposedly broadcasting from a hidden studio deep below the Grand Ole Opry. Sir Cecil was corny fun, and described his character as a cross between the hunchback of Notre Dame and Oliver Hardy. He is remembered to this day by scores of fans who finally recall his signature sign-off. Good night, sleep tight, and don't let the buddy bugs bite. Now, I've done a number of tributes to Sir Cecil Creep over the years and proudly wear this patch on my lab coat as a tribute to him. It's a Boy Scout patch that I earned at a scouting event that reads Sir Cecil the Ghoul Patrol. I was also sent this gorgeous and super rare poster by a member of his family once, and thanks for all that I've done to help keep Sir Cecil's memory alive. That is honestly about the greatest thanks that I ever could have received. Well, let's get back to tonight's movie now. This is Son of Ghost Man. Spare keys. So this is your plan to pay... I hope you all enjoyed tonight's movie, Son of Ghost Man. I had the pleasure of interviewing Son of Ghost Man director Kurt Larson in the column I write for Scary Monsters Magazine in issue number 91, the 2014 Monster Memories issue. We had a great time chatting about the film. Kurt had first made me aware of his film earlier that year when he reached out to me on Twitter. And after this article ran, Kurt went on to win a Rondo Award later that year for Best Independent Film. If you like tonight's movie, drop me a line at madmail at drgangreen.com. I'd love to hear from you. Well, that's about it for this week, Fright fans. I have several patients waiting to be seen, including a werewolf who's suffering from a bad case of being bullied by other members of his pack. I'm going to prescribe you take two Bronsons and call me in the morning. Until next time, this is Dr. Gangreen saying, stay mad. Mm -hmm.